So as you guys know, we've been running LV6548s for my main workshop system. I use this system with 12,000 watts of solar to charge my Tesla, to run two air conditioners, and to do Bitcoin mining as a load dump if I get excess power. And it works so well. I was gonna replace this with Victron components, but yeah, this thing is solid, so why even touch it? And I know it looks messy, but it's been working flawlessly. I've really grown to like these LV6548s. Also, these batteries are all over the place because we just throw batteries into the system whenever we get them so that we can test them and see if there's any problems. This system now has over 100 kilowatt hours. So I charge up my Tesla from zero to 100 and I leave the air conditioner running the whole time. So pretty powerful system, even though it looks a little messy. Now get this 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 unit has done 3.3 megawatt hours this year and this one has done 2.5 megawatt hours this year which is 5.8 megawatt hours total let's take that number and see how many miles we could get with the tesla model 3 but there are some losses that we need to calculate for First off, this inverter circuit is 93% efficient, and I've noticed that from the input to the output, you get about 91%. From the solar DC to the AC output, you get 91%. Next, a Tesla battery charger is gonna have its own losses. And from most sources, I'm seeing that it's about 90% efficient. So with all losses included, we get 4.75 megawatt hours. Now a Tesla Model 3 is the most efficient EV and it gets 4.56 miles per kilowatt hour, which is surprising. Not when I had one, I drove it like an idiot, so I did not get anywhere near that. So let's round it down to four miles per kilowatt hour because I don't think anyone's hitting that number. So divide by 1000 and multiply by four, 19,000 miles with a Tesla Model 3. And we just built this system. Like you can see when we built this system in the previous videos and in that many months during winter, Enter we've created enough energy to power Model 3 for 19,000 miles. Now that entire time these have been running 24 seven and I haven't had a single issue with them. They are my favorite budget all-in-one system. Um, we have tested a lot on this channel and there's others that I have tested that I did not review on this channel. And these are my absolute favorite for the price. Also, these are UL1741 certified, but not listed. So that means that it conforms to UL1741 standards through third party but yeah you're not going to be able to connect this to the grid like a grid tie system inverter um, quite a few mpp solar inverters are capable of backfeeding the grid and i think you can do it with this one if you change the settings but these are designed for off-grid use only for north american united states grid if you want a listed all-in-one system the soul arc is going to be for you but it's going to cost three times as much last time i checked so for most people running off-grid systems a lv6548 is great for the money. It is still a very high quality unit and you can do everything that you need for off-grid use, but it's a lot cheaper than other options. I was actually going to replace this with Victron inverters and their new solar charge controller, which I have in my shop. And those are fantastic. I love them so much, but these work great and I don't want to rebuild the system. Like this just works flawlessly. So I'm not even going to touch it. Now my experience has been very good with this inverter and I've noticed it's been very good for other people. I've been trying to find people that are complaining about this. One thing that is a problem is the ground and there is current on the ground when you have a split phase output configuration. And that's because both units have a ground neutral bond when the inverter output is on. So if you are using them for split phase output, you might be better off removing one of the bonds in one of the units but I'm not gonna make any specific recommendations because there are so many different ways of configuring these inverters. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. And I'll have a link for that discussion on our forum below if you wanna learn more. Now the easiest configuration for grounding and configuring is just a single LV6548. This thing does 6,500 watts output. And if that's all you need at 120 volts, you'll be set with just one unit. And if you have 240 volt devices, you could just get an LV6548 6048 and put it right next to it and then you'll be set you'll have 240 volt and then you'll also have 120 volt with a very high capacity for like a little sub panel so yeah there's lots of ways to configure these systems so it's really hard to make recommendations of what you should do exactly also in recent times i've noticed that people are starting to figure out how great these models are um, people that do not like mpp still like the lv6548 um, all of the features that it has with 
Wi-Fi and connecting it and programming it, um, putting it in any configuration that you want in the high efficiency. Um, low standby relative for the price, it's not gonna be a Victron standby consumption, but it's really good compared to the other like cheap LF inverters out there. So all around, this one is my favorite for those reasons. Also, I've been trying to find bad reviews of these units on my forum in other areas, specifically smaller solar YouTube channels. I subscribe to every solar channel I possibly can just to see what people's experiences are with these various products. And one guy, I forgot his name, I think he has like four or five of these. He's been running them 24 seven without a single issue. So I don't think I'm the only one. I think everybody that uses these really likes them. They're a great unit. But now the distributors are figuring that out and they are making clones. So today we are going to check out a new clone of the LV6548. Dang, that is heavy. Woo, that's huge. Good. Communication cable. Manual and watch power. This is in every way an LV6548, but they painted it blue. I like the color. I like it. It looks like a Victron or a Battleborn. It's a very nice blue. This is relabeled by Sun Gold Power. They have lots of inverters. I actually have another one of their older inverters, but I never showed it on a video. This is an LV6548. Every single component in here, even the black cover is identical. That is funny. So I just took a photo of this sticker on the side of the unit and the one on the MPP unit, and they are identical. I don't see a single number that is different at all. But this one's called the Blue Power SP6548. And, that, and that's what Sun Gold Power Inverters is going to call it. And I've heard that Voltronic makes all of these inverters for MPP, GrowWatt, and others. But I have not been able to verify it. It seems like it is, but you really need to go to China to verify things. You can't take people's word for it. I'm so glad they sent this out because now I have another LV6548. I'm going to build an entire system with this with its own array. So one thing to think about is that this is not sold by Watts 24-7. And they are my favorite all-in-one system distributor because if you have any problems, they will replace it. So I'm not sure what their warranty is like or their customer care or service. Watts 24-7 might have a slow website, but I know that they will always make everyone happy. So if you've had a good or a bad experience with Sun Gold Power Inverters, please let me know in the comment section below. So let's put this back together again and see what firmware they're actually running because if they have the older firmware, this might be old inventory. If it has the new firmware, that means they just got these because they just got the firmware. So that might be telling of how new these actually are. Woo! We're using a power supply to run this for now. 45.07. In 1213, so it's perfect. So pretty much everything on here is an LV6548. This is not a clone, this is a relabeled unit. This is identical to the MPP Solar one. I was hoping that it would be completely different on the inside, but the same on the outside, like a badly done clone. But no, this is the actual LV6548, and they're selling it for $1,500. Um, Rich Solar sells it for $2,000. They have really good prices for everything except for these. Something else to note is that firmware means that you can communicate with other inverters with that firmware. Um, I know this from experience when I was updating the firmware and my two inverters would not work when I was trying to update one of them. So this one will work with an MPP Solar LV6548 because it has the same exact firmware. But like I said previously, I don't know what it's like working with this company. So only time will tell. If you guys have any complaints, please let me know. But this is another source for this inverter at a good price. And I'm pretty sure considering its popularity and how much Watts 24 seven has been sold out of these things, that a lot of companies are gonna be selling these. So I'll have affiliate links below for both distributors. And if you find another distributor that's selling this for cheaper, please let me know. 
the more distributors we have, the better. When we are out of stock of really good equipment, it sucks. We're just all sitting on pre-order lists and I hate that. If you're really desperate, you can get the Rich Solar one for $500 more, but I think most people would wait to save that $500, especially if you're buying like three or four of these. And that's all I can really think of. It's an LV6548. I love this thing, it works really well. Um, yeah, please let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.